Marcus in the building. What's going on, my G? Where you at in the part of the world? Uh, I'm in uh, Bakersfield, California. Oh, you out in California, but you but 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 it says here you from uh what you from South Carolina though. No, that's just my telephone number. I used to work for a bank in the fraud department. Mm -hmm. My phone got stolen in South Carolina, and I had Metro PCS at the time, so I had to end up getting the uh, South Carolina number. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so so so. so hold on, what you say now? I said, I'm from Georgia, born and raised. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right. So go ahead and introduce yourself, man, and uh, let us know, uh, of course, where you're from. You said you're from Georgia, but go ahead and let us know what you was doing before you got into trucking, bro. Uh, before trucking, I, um, shit, man, I'm a man, jack of all trades. I started out heavy in law enforcement, doing security, uh, Worked in the bank, in the fraud department. I did construction. I was driving straight truck for this uh, lumber company for a while. Mm -hmm. And, man, got tired of, you know, dealing with the whole aspect, you know, uh, when the summer and spring are here, you can make, you know, bust 18, 2100. But as soon as the winter hit, you know, everything kind of slowed down. And I wanted to move up in the ladder, but... Due to the color of my skin, shoot, it was like, probably you, you, you won't make the cut. So I had to find an exit, though. And at that point, I just went ahead and told my family, like, hey, they had to sit down for a minute and come up with another option, you know? All right. All right. So fraud department for a bank, What what bank was... What's, what bank was uh, that, and why you uh and, and and what happened? Why why you not why you not there no more? And what 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 entails of the fraud department? Like what what you was doing there? Man, you watch cameras, looking at accounts all day long. I got fat as hell doing that shit. I went from two seventy five, shot up to two ninety. Well, I know I was three hundred two. And just, you know, watching counts, watching uh, foot traffic coming in and out of different branches across the world and chasing down leads and uh, networking with different uh, banks, sister banks across the world. You know, it was, it was fun, but it also, you know, my desires, I always wanted more. All right, so security and and banking and fraud department is 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 worlds away from trucking, bro. What, what made you uh what 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 what's the idea of trucking uh came into your mind? Well, my uh well, he's like a family friend. When I was young, about thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, Mister Bird had a truck. He had a Peterbilt, and shoot, I used to wash it, you know, and move it around his yard and ride with him during some time in the summertime to help him out, you know, to keep him woke. And I never had a desire to get off in trucking until uh, pretty much, you know, I did security, worked a couple clubs in Atlanta. I made decent money doing that, but it, it also – was like a gift and a curse more to say, you know what I'm saying? Because I do have a little girl, you know, and mm -hmm. coming home at two, three in the morning and, you know, just that's not a thing I want to see my be in for years and years at a time. And I left that and started uh driving for a lumber company, straight truck. And Getting up at like four thirty in the morning, uh, getting my man load manifest and riding all over Georgia, Alabama, Florida, you know, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. I I got good at it, you know, with time management and learning the back roads and just pretty much beating traffic. 
I became good at it. Uh, Shit, at traffic in Georgia I'm is like a fucking beast down there, bro. <laughs> Bro, 285, you got to look. 285, go on the surface. 75 and 85, go up and down. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I had to get off an exit, ride, hit the back road, and get back on. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So, so, oh, I, go ahead. So I, I got real good at driving a straight truck and uh, got a couple of awards and achievements, but they wasn't trying to cut no more money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you say that uh so you said being that they wasn't they wasn't, you know, trying to pay you no more than what they was willing to pay you, uh, you just figured it was time for to make a power move, uh, for you and your family, right? Yeah, it's time to get along. All right. So d- d- did you go to school for your C D L or did you or did you uh or did yeah. you go to a trucking did you go to a trucking company that that sponsored the school? Uh, I went to a school. Oh, I, get- uh, I went. To, uh, you want me to disclose the name? Yeah, what? go ahead, go ahead. You can disclose the name. Uh, man, I went to Tennessee Truck Driving School in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, I'm familiar with that. I'm familiar with that. I talked to a few people that uh that uh went to went to Tennessee Truck Driving School. All right. Yeah. So uh three so three weeks, what, three weeks, four weeks, you got your license. How how long ago did you get your license? Uh about, yeah, about four and a half years now, something like that. Oh, okay. So you've been in the game for a little for a little bit. How many yeah, truck how, how many trucking companies you rocked out with before you got with your current company? Uh just one. Oh. I've been with Stevens. Oh, okay. You still you still with Stevens or no? No, sir. All right. So what was no, your what was sir. your what was your experience with uh with Stevens before you left? Uh be honest with you, the good, you want the good or the bad? Uh you can get both, bro. <laughs> this is your flow. <laughs> All right, so on the good side, you know, for training, I felt like, you know, it was very extensive, you know, from the videos Mm -hmm. to uh, fucking what they put you through, you know, before they actually give you the keys to a truck. And, you know, uh, I felt like they, they always try to do D- I'll beat DOT standards. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, they, they company policy is very goddamn, like, very strict on 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 every end. You know, you, you basically, they treat their yard like a jail. You know, once you cross their threshold, uh, you got about 25 different holes on you, from certification to videos not being complete to uh, just a number of things, even if they feel like you need retraining because of you got too many lane departures or too many following distances. Uh, it was definitely a, a, a learning process, even the CPAP uh, machine. And uh, if you got a, a neck over with 16, 17 inches, they're going to blaze that machine on you. Wait, ho, 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 wait. So, Stevens Transport uh, wants you guys to 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 do a CPAP test or something like that. Do do they do they require do they do they require that when you come in or what? Why what do they? See, they gonna lace your ass up with it, and they gonna take it out your chest. What? Yes, bro, like some Ponzi scheme shit. Nah, man, nah. They, they, they got you. So, what, Bruh, what, what? I, what, I mean, what, what, what make what, what make them, what make them, uh, what do, what doing orientation or something like that? They'd be like, "Yo, we need you to well, take a CPAP <laughs> test or something like that," and and that's and and then they'll go from there. What if what if you refused? But, what if you refused bro, to? So, so, Oh, you outed. 
Mm. You done. And and they gonna goddamn put that shit on your deck. Mm. They gonna flag this, bro. I put the CPAP shit, and anybody nationwide can vouch for it, bro. And OR1, they probably gonna be looking at your next time. Like, oh yeah, he a big fella. Let's go ahead and lace him up. Mm-hmm. And shit, I had to pay 900 something. I'll put, well, I think, yeah, 900 some dollars. And all, get on it. And, <laughs> and all this. All this out of your paycheck, and and they 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 laced it up on your truck, and you had to. How would they know that you're wearing it, though, bro? Bro, they check that shit like every fifteen to thirty days. They got somebody within their system that checks it, and you got to like it, it. It what it does is the machine runs off of like Wi-Fi or some shit, and that mug reports back. In like the little database that oh the driver not using the machine, so wherever you at nationwide in the world they're gonna call you, hey driver you can't move that truck until you become compliant with that CPAP machine. Wow. So so since you so since you only been with two companies, uh, I'm gonna assume you've been with Stevens majority of the four years, right? Yeah. So within that four year period, man, you you was on their CPAP machine ever since. Yes, sir. Did you did before you got into trucking? Did you was you on was you using the CPAP before you got into trucking? No, sir. So how was you diagnosed to, to use the CPAP though? Bro, they they had uh. To me, it looked like old bootleg, jack leg doctor. That's a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. And, oh, oh, big man, uh, you need to take this back to the hotel with you and use it. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I came back, he was just like, uh, oh, yeah, man, you got a small case of CPAP. What? You got a low Yeah. You got a low number. So yeah, you uh, in order to drive here, at Stevens, you know, you gotta take this. So wait, so wait, my G. So, so you you in orientation, and you 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 go to the. the I'm still trying to figure out how how did they uh, how did you, uh, how did they how did they know to to do the CPAP test on you? Like, did you? Did you do that when you went through uh, your DOT physical or or somebody no. in orientation said that you had to that you had to do that? Matter of fact, they told me this shit at uh in Tennessee. He said, oh, where you going? He said, oh, you going to Stevens. Yeah, Stevens going to want you to do a sleep study test, but they're going to do that when you get there. So he had already told me about it. But once I got there and seeing how the little process worked, like they they basically forced this shit upon you. Wow. Did they did they do that because did they do that because of your uh because of your weight? Yeah. And next time. So was was so what's your net size has to be then in order to in order to do a sleep test? I guess they saying like a sixteen or seventeen. Ain't that ain't that average though? Yeah, I mean, it's better than mine. Like you know? my like my net size is like a sixteen. I mean, considering the fact that I'm you know that I'm six one, I'm six one two hundred and fifty pounds, and majority of my majority of my weight is in my fucking stomach. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I guess that's you know. I, I guess that's you know norm. Well, that's not normal because they say, you know, let the doctor say. They say that I'm obese and shit. You know, two, uh, three. Let me see. Since one, I'm supposed to be somewhere around like around two ten, two ten, two twenty at the at the least. I got down. I got down to like two thirty. Uh, I got down to two thirty, but that was because I was hitting the gym damn near, damn near every day. But still, 
you know, the stomach was, you know, I just felt that the stomach was still there. So, you know, but I, I never had no, I never had no sleep issues. I mean, I, I never had no sleep issues. And every time I go to my doctor, you know, my doctor give me a clean bill of health to tell me like, yo, uh, you know, he ain't give me no, 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 no sleep test or anything like that. And fortunately for me, I haven't gotten with any, I haven't gotten with any company in my, you know, in my six years that required me to take a sleep apnea test. I mean, I heard about it a lot, but, you know, but I didn't really, I, I didn't know that Stevens would, you, you say Stevens will pretty much force this on you in order to drive for him. Correct. Wow, that's crazy right there. All right. Correct, so, bro. If, this, if you listen or, or, or buying a truck from a bro and they shut you down because you're not complying with the CPAP machine, mm -hmm. bro, they basically not going to give you no load. Bro. They're going to put you on med hole and basically you can't give you. You ain't getting nothing until you become compliant with that machine, bro. Well, how long How long would it take How long would it take for you to get compliant with it? What, just a night or so? Nah, I think first suspension, like, two, three days. Then after that, they go for, like, a week. What? They catch you the second time, like, a week. Yeah, yeah. So they can make so what so let me ask you this. If they put you on medical hold for for the CPAP, would you would you still be getting paid? Like is they gonna No sir. No sir. So they can are you serious? Yeah. So they can hold they, they can hold up your money simply by saying that we're gonna put you on a medical hold so you get be um so you can get uh compliant with the CPAP. Correct. She and the first time they would have did that to me, I would have said, Yo, where you want me to break this truck at? Where where you want me to drop where this truck at, bro? I mean, I, I had to give it to you. I, I had to give it to you, man. You I mean, you know, I had to give it to you. You know, you you know, you did four years with the company. Me, I I don't think I would have gave them two days at, at, you know once once if they would have did something like that to me and i i love the people that i worked around there mm -hmm. uh but you can definitely tell like it's some favoritism somewhere you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. even with training i train a couple of guys and just be like you know i make decent money really you can only make decent money with train, you know what I'm saying? But right. I, I I just feel like, bro, I ain't got to work this hard to crack thirty five fucking hundred, man. Okay, okay. So you, you so how 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 long was it before you got in the before you got in the training after you got with them? Uh, I think they make you wait like seven months, seven or eight months, something like that. Okay, so seven. So after eight months, you you felt confident enough to 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 train a rookie. Hey, so basically, you have to qualify for it. Mm -hmm. So you got to run over fifty thousand miles, mm -hmm. and got to be there for like seven. I think yeah, seven months. Okay. Solo, solo as a solo driver. Okay. In order to train, and uh, yeah, I felt like shit. You know, my first student was fifty-one years old. And how old are you? And I'm thirty-three. I just turned thirty three and so yo so for so like how how long was it how long was it between you actually you know getting off your trainer's truck to you becoming a trainer like how how long you know you said it was seven months, but you've been there for four years so how how long was it before you actually started training. Was it was it after the seven months that you was there, or you, or you, or was it a year or two? So, as soon as I got off my trainer truck mm -hmm. in March, I think end of November, going into December, that's when I started training. Okay, okay, okay. Now let me now let me ask you this, bro. You know, I I I, I don't. I, 
I, I play devil's advocate a lot, man. So you did you get in the training because of the money or did you get in the training because you wanted you you actually wanted to, you know, Both. you wanted to train. Both. <laughs> You said both. <laughs> so, so basically, uh -huh. I'm a, the, the type of person I am, I, I'm, I'm a, a, a extrovert. Right. So I like to be around people. You know what I'm saying? Right. After six months of me being in this motherfucker by myself, bro, I started talking to myself and talking to ties and <laughs> talking to the trailer. I'm like, man, I need to get motherfucking company up in this bitch. This, 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 this. What well, shit? So, why you didn't? Why why you didn't go team? What you mean team? Team what? with who? <laughs> <laughs> you say fuck that team shit, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, because all right, if he you got to split whatever the truck makes. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So so you so you jumped in the training. Um, what was some of the what what was what was give us a give us a good time that you had in training and give us a and give us a bad time that you had in training? The best time I had in training was it was no I'm I'm talking about you training I'm talking about you not not you training with somebody else I'm talking about you doing the trainer you and your trainee. Give give us a oh. good yeah, give us a good and bad time during that time. Well, it's really two students, you know what I'm saying? I only had one student that really gave me a run for my money, you know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. I literally had to cut the motherfucker out every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so uh the one that made me proud was the Zulu. He was from Nigeria and uh shit, man, it was he kind of like in a straight line going forward. He good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Following the quail come. Uh, when you get up to like uh, upstate New York and you miss what that quail come is telling you. And I'm talking about the company shit now. And they use Omnitrack. So Omnitrack has a little delay in it sometimes when it tells them to uh, get off. But if you're not really paying attention, it will count down the seconds to your turn. So he would miss it. You know what I'm saying? And Upstate New York, shit. The next exit is fucking twenty miles up okay. ahead. Okay. So we, you know, and I'm like, come on, Azuda, bro. This is your second time doing this shit, bro. When you gonna get better? Okay. You know, it's telling you when to turn. And after over time, he got good. He got good at back. He really made me proud. Even when he came back and and did outstanding, you know. Okay. Uh. When when was the time that you had to? When was the time that you had an issue with a with 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 a trainee? That was Nuber. He was from Haiti. <laughs> what? He was from man. He had road rage. Be cussing. He'll get on the phone with his old lady. Be cussing at her and this woman back in Haiti. He calling him to send you know uh, Western Union money back home mm -hmm. and. He telling her like, yo, like I'm fucking driving. Like, what you want me to do? You want me to pull over right now and get to speaking in, in they lane and, and uh and French and shit. And I be like, hey man, listen here, but we need to see English around here because I believe you motherfuckers talking about me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to your old lady. And I understand, man. Even though y'all got them problems going on, but you need to leave that shit outside of the truck. Right. So my life back here. Goddamn bump, right? And you know, up on the front seat. So, bro, whatever issues y'all going to, man, let's 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 just try to do it when you're not driving, okay? And you, and that's, and you know what? Bro. That's that's a good that's a good ass advice for anybody that's 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 driving, man. Like for real, for real. Like you know, you got one of them one of them needy ass females that just fucking call you and just and just be ranking on you and all like that be like yo i ain't got time for this shit man i'm out here driving you gotta you gotta call me back when i'm not driving and even when i'm not driving i still don't want to be bothered with that shit man 
I I feel like Steven failed that man. So I'm, I'm gonna finish the story by him. Go ahead. So he, after we had that issue, he had his look, you know, like on 70, and when you get in California, the merge lane. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, hey, bro, listen here. To get out of the fucking merge lane because you know you 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 trying to match the car speed that's fucking entering the lane. Mm-hmm. Helmet down and go. You know what I'm saying? Get, get Get the fuck out of the merge lane because you almost got damn hit grandma trying to merge on, trying to match her speed, like, you know, kind of like waiting to see what she going to do. Right. And then it, it was just bad. And then, like, one big-ass truck he tried to let on, he matching the same speed. They both going by 55 miles an hour. But it's a tight truck on the driver's side of him not trying to let him get over so he gets over on the Titan truck, run the man's off into the ditch. Wow. And I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you doing, man? And then I look, bro, you on the phone with that goddamn woman again. <laughs> Argue. He's he's you on know, the, he, he's on the phone he's on the phone arguing with his girlfriend try to try try to match somebody's speed in the merge lane. That that's what he's doing. Yeah. No, nah, you yeah. can't you can't do that, bro. Yeah, you, you and it, it was just like, bro, being up for 10 hours with him and then me trying to drive my little 10 hours, I'm up 20 hours a day. Mm. I can't, I can't get no sleep. So you get, so you, you just had to take him back to the, uh, to the terminal and tell, you know, tell him like, oh, this, this ain't going to work. Well, I'm going to tell you what I did. I let him get his 240 hours. Mm-hmm. I let him finish his little, uh, his little training. But at the end of his training, I requested for him to be on my truck another uh, 90 days. Damn, you know bro. Saying? You you got yeah. some fucking heart, man. Why? I would have, yo, bro, you got to go. <laughs> but tell, I mean, don't get me He was cool if he didn't have any distractions. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, 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 if the old girl didn't call and don't know driver pissed him off, he actually was a decent driver. But soon as that woman called and put that poison in the head, he a different man. Nah, man, I I, I couldn't drive. I, I couldn't drive with somebody like that, man. Too too what? much too too much distraction, and he nah, I I couldn't do that. You got you got big heart, bro. You you got big heart. You know what I'm saying? I, I, let him I, I took him back. Jim called me in the office. Said, "Why you feeling uh, new?" But- I said, because, you know, like I said on, on his uh, paperwork, man, the man needs at least 90 more days on my truck so we can, you know what I'm saying, finish him off right. He can bag and everything, but as uh, soon as he get on that phone, it's a totally different thing. Well, you don't need and to be he, he don't need to be on the phone. Is 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 the two guys that you that you trained out, are they still with Stevens or what? No, nah, so let me tell you what happened to Nuba. Nuba, they took Nuba off my truck and put him on another guy's truck. Mm-hmm. That was a more qualified uh, trainer, had been with the company 20, 30-something years or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I get a phone call going, you know, that's what they was going to do with him. So I get a phone call out of the booth. Say, hey, Mark, we need you to write a statement. A statement for what? Mm-hmm. Oh, we need you to write a statement on Uber. Uh, for what? Oh, yeah, he's been in a uh, bad, bad, very bad accident. What? Oh man, what they got to do? Yeah. I said, what they got to do with me, guy? I said, that shit, though. I told you to keep the man on my truck because I knew what kind of driver he was. Oh, you know they trying to. Oh, they they. So. so they 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 they, they try to was, they they try to they they try to put the blame on you because of his accident. Is is this is what I'm hearing? <laughs> No, what happened was Nuba got to that new guy's truck. New guy thought like, oh, shit, I got me a driver. I got me a driver. Mm -hmm. But he don't know like that motherfucker downfall once he get on that phone with that lady. Mm. Driver goes in the back bunk to go to sleep, leaves Nuba up front by himself. Next thing you know, got there all pandemonium breakfast. Wow. Yeah, driver was at the bunk. So I'm I'm gonna assume what's his name? Newbert? Newbert? Newbert. 
New, I'm going to assume Newbert is no longer with Steve. 